I'm going to try this again. I just spent over 21 minutes making a video. And by accident, I deleted that video. So there's somebody out there that the most high is trying to reach. And the devil is doing everything in his power to keep you. So the title of this video, and I'm not going to be as long as I was because a lot of what was said was unscripted. It just came off the top of my dome. But don't give up. The race is not given to the swift, neither is it given to the strong, but to those that endure to the end. Unfortunately, we're living in times where people don't have that type of endurance. For whatever reason, it is so easy for people to just give up on life. They give up on themselves. They give up on their families. They give up on their marriages and their relationships. That man gives up on that woman. You even give up on your own children because you don't have what it takes to endure. You give up on your job. Somebody can say something to you. The next thing, you're quitting because you don't feel comfortable. That's the type of generation that we're now dealing with it's not like when I was coming up. Yes, you had people back then that gave up. But in most cases, people endured. It was a challenge. And one thing I always have always told my sons growing up, don't ever let nobody get inside your head. Once they rent space in your mental Rolodex, then they control you. They control your emotions. You're now sad, you're depressed, contemplating suicide, and they're going on about their life being as happy as they can be. And you're ready to give up. Don't give up. The race is not given to the swift. It doesn't matter how fast you are. It doesn't matter how strong you are, but it's all about endurance. That's what life is about, endurance. It's about taking on any challenges that you may have to face in life. And much of that challenge is right within you. See, your marriage is not the problem. Your husband's not the problem. Your wife is not the problem. Even your children are not the problem. The problem is you. The problem is you. Sometimes people set standards higher than they can even handle themselves. What you require for someone else, you can't even handle that. See, people are so quick to give up. You have no type of endurance whatsoever. But don't give up. Yes, I'm talking to you. Don't give up. Too many weak people nowadays, man. People's feelings are hurt easy nowadays. You know, we came up at a time, man, where we fought even when it even we when we had to knuckle up. We dealt with it. I remember, man, you get somebody to run from a fight and they run in the house, their moms would tell you, not the father, their moms would tell you, get back out there and fight. See? And sometimes that's what God want us to do. He want us to get back out there and fight. He don't want us running. See, God does not want coward soldiers. He wants someone that will stand up and fight. The fight has left so many people now. People don't fight. You have your face buried in your cell phones. Your iPads. And you don't give up. You don't care about anything that's going on around you. You're only concerned about yourself. 
And believe it or not, a lot of y'all are showing that you are hurting inside. Just by the things that you post on Instagram and Facebook. For all of these women that are showing off their bodies, it's mind blowing to me because that right there is only showing how low your self-esteem is, how less you think of yourself. You think less of yourself. You think the only thing that's going to bring you views or clicks or popularity is for you to show off your naked body. And then you wonder why men don't respect you. If you don't respect yourself, how do you expect someone else to respect you? And then you get depressed and sad and just ready to give up on life, give up on everything around you instead of enduring, instead of pressing toward the mark for the prize of a much higher calling in life. Don't give up. I know you're not that weak. You can't be that weak to just give up. Can't take a fight anymore. And again, like I said, in most cases, that fight is right within yourself. You pressing toward the mark. We're living in times that our ancestors only read about when they went to church. When they read the book of Revelation and they talked about the last days and how the last days were coming. But now you're seeing the book of Revelation manifest right before you. You're living that book. You are actually living that book. Even with this so-called pestilence or pandemic that we're living through, fear is controlling so many people. So many people gave up just because they said, if you don't take that jab, you're losing your job. So you gave up. You quit. You quit instead of allowing them to fire you. Stand your ground. No one is standing their ground. Everybody is just laying down, taking what is dished out to you. All of your freedoms are being taken away from you. Just a few individual people in a position of authority that you voted for. And now they're controlling every aspect of your life. I'm not going to make this political. But this is all a part of you giving up. When that so-called pandemic came, there's people, because of all the stuff that was happening around them, people are getting sick. People are wasting away. They took their own lives. They couldn't handle them no more. But I know you're not that weak, though. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you are not that weak. Where you would just give up and leave your children behind. Leave your family behind. Leave your wife behind, your husband, your children. Give it up on your family. Post it on Facebook about how your family is and how you don't love your family. You can't trust your family. All because things did not go your way. Spoiled rotten. Listen. God does not want you to be afraid. The Bible says that the fearful and the unbelieving, the abominable, the whoremonger, yada, 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 will have their part in the lake. That means even if you choose to give up and become a Judas, take yourself out, you now enter into 
eternal damnation. There's no end. There's no second chance. You failed the test of life. Remember when you took your final exam in school? And everybody's sitting in the classroom and you took that final exam that will determine whether or not you pass or fail. This could be your final exam which you're dealing with in life. This could be your final exam. And at the last minute you choose to quit. You see these girls running in the back they're running for the prize. There's some that is that's going to give up. That's going to slow down. I'm not going to win. They're too fast. And you're going to have those that's going to push forward. They have that endurance to push forward. Even if they came in second place, they didn't give up. They pressed toward the mark for the prize of a higher calling. And then at the end, they can celebrate, take a nice cold shower, and feel good about their accomplishments. But you have no accomplishments if you give up. Because you're not only giving up on those that care about you, but you're mainly giving up on you. I've seen people give up on jobs because the job wasn't moving as fast as they wanted to. They got a good job and human resources may mess up your paperwork and you don't start when you expect it to start. So you become discouraged and you quit. To me, that's being a coward to just give up instead of just waiting it out to see what's for you on the end. This is a song we used to sing in, in church. They gonna run on, see what the end's gonna be. They gotta run on, see what the end's gonna be. I believe I'll run on, see what the end's gonna be. Y'all remember that song if you came up in Kojic. Believe I'll run on, see what the end's gonna be. You would never know what your end would be if you give up. If you stop running, if you just choose to leave the church, choose to leave your job, choose to leave your marriage, just walk out, tired of it, can't handle it no more. But I know you're better than that. I know you're stronger than that. You can't, you can't be that weak. So, listen. I started to make a video and it was just going to be scriptures and me talking on audio but sometimes you just need to talk man you know and you have people man that just want to end it man they it's like it's a silent type of death man because it's like you holding it inside you're not talking to nobody man because you're afraid of what other people might think but sometimes you got to forget about what people think man you know and sometimes you need to just cut things loose if you got a no good man that's hindering you and holding you down sometimes it's just best to let that man go young lady and young man if you got a woman that's holding you down and you decide to and you choose to settle for second place. Sometimes you need to cut her loose to be free. You know, yeah, she may be cute. She may have a nice little smile or butt, or whatever, that whatever it is that's keeping you there. But sometimes you need to let go. They say that there's a whole lot of fish out in the water there, man. You only got one. It's probably like a little mental is that what they call them little tiny mental fishes little tiny things sometimes you all you got is a mental you need to let that go and get you a trout <laughs> ladies you need to get you a trout instead of messing with that little sunfish 
And trust me, we're living in a time where there's too many sunfish out there. There are too many dudes that are sunfishes. They're not men. They're not trout. They're not a shark. You need to be a shark sometimes. Not a sunfish. <laughs> so listen, feedback, tell me what you think. Subscribe, click on the Cash App or, or Venmo. Support the channel. Subscribe. Until next time. Don't be a sunfish. <laughs>